Hi guys, this is Philip Start, and welcome to the second episode of my Java Clean Code online training course. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can use FindBugs and the FindBugs Eclipse plugin to perform static analysis on your code base. Now, as you can see here, I've got the FindBugs web page up, and FindBugs looks for bugs in your Java program, and it does this on the concept of static analysis and it'll use static analysis to statically analyze your Java bytecode for the occurrences of different bug patterns and find bugs will actually look for over 200 different bug patterns and this does not take long you basically right click on your code and you're gonna run run find bugs and it's gonna bring up all of its results and say these are the potential bugs in your program and it's that simple so I'm going to show you guys how you can do that, and it's a very, very important uh, tool to have. You've got to have your find bugs, as this is going to flag up any uh, common bug patterns that you'll see creeping into a code base. So if you want to go to your uh, IDE and go to Window, or sorry, Help, and then Eclipse Marketplace, and once that loads up, we're going to type in find bugs in the find. So I'm going to type in here and see if I can see the plugin. So find bugs and go ahead and this is the, the plugin. So as you can see, there's been over nearly half a million installs of find bugs. And that's very important that all you guys also install this as well. So as you can see, it uses static analysis to look for more than 200 bug patterns, such as no pointer references and et cetera, et cetera. So go ahead and click install, confirm that and accept the license and agreement. And once the program installs, uh, Eclipse or Spring Tool Suite or whatever IDE you're using will need to uh, restart. So now that our IDE has restarted, you'll notice when you right click on your project and select Find Bugs, you're going to have an option to run the Find Bugs plugin. But of course, we're not going to do that now because there are no bugs in our application because we have no code. But the first thing you want to do before you actually run that is go to Window, Preferences, and then go to Java and Find Bugs. And you'll notice that there's lots of different settings here, and there's different bug severities. And you want to make sure that you've ticked all of these, as sometimes security and malicious code vulnerability will not be selected, depending on the plugin version. So go ahead and make sure everything's selected, and you also have the option here of selecting and viewing bugs with the, the minimum rank. So in this case, one is the most severe and 20 is the least, and we're gonna show up to 15. So we want, we want everything in the report up to 15. So go ahead and click OK. And the next thing you wanna do is to enable the, these three views. So as we have here, bug reviews, bug info, and bug explorer. And if you don't have them when your IDE restarts, you wanna to go to window, show view, other, Go under Find Bugs and select these three and click OK. Now, what we want to do is actually introduce a bug to our application so that we have a bug and we're going to see what it looks like. So what I want to introduce is a potential infinite loop bug. So I'm going to have a Boolean here, should continue. And I'm going to assign that the value of true. And then I'm going to say while should continue Let's put the current thread, so thread.sleep, and we're going to sleep for one second, and then let's surround that with try catch, and see if that. Now, now if we right click on our project, find bugs, execute find bugs, it's going to say that, okay, you've got one uh, potential bug. It's a scary bug, so that's the different severity rankings. It's high confidence, and it's saying there's an apparent infinite loop. So it's caught the bug. So you can imagine how beneficial this is to you and your development team as you're programming. Your code is going to be constantly executed against these over 200 common bug patterns, and that's going to basically inspect the Java bytecode, so you don't actually need to run your program. You just need to run the find bugs application against your application. So make sure you subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. You know I love producing all these videos and this is part two of my Java clean code series 
and I will see you next time for part three. Thank you very much.